4.30 in the morning, getting ready for this kayak charter. First thing before we do anything, coffee. There's Beach Nasty. I'm not sure if I've had her in a video yet. Just got everything put together. Sand spike holders, the handlebar, and this bottom piece, this lift kit, came from Deerfield Fabrication and Welding over there in North Carolina. And then the wheels, the axles, and the powder coat came from Beach Power Manufacturing here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. She is a bad girl. check these straps again once I left the house see that one's a little loose because these kayaks will kind of shift once you get going they'll settle however they're gonna ride so I always come to the gas station here get ice another coffee this is a two-person kayak guy today so I have the two Old Town pedal drives these are the Sportsman 106 and I'll use the Old Town canoe the sportsman canoe discovery so no pedal drive for me but this thing is fun and it's light the winds are pretty low when it's windy that thing's a pain it won't stay in position and loading these the night before and getting all the gear ready takes me about an hour once i get these loaded up and positioned and kind of put back into the backyard get everything rigged up as far as what i want to start with out when we get out there get everything loaded into the truck that's about an hour and then it's another about 45 minutes in the morning getting out of the house it's about 5 30 at this point i am up here at lost key outdoors this is usually where i'll meet clients this is an easy meeting spot we can take care of our financial business up here and everything in the parking lot before we get going and then depending on what they want to do they can either ride in with me and just leave their cars here or they'll follow me in um five got up at 4 30 it's 5 30 now i'm already at the meeting spot i usually meet everybody at 5 45 that gives us 15 minutes to get to the launch spot it takes a second to set up i'll run my morning guides from 6 to 10 a.m but i do account for the setup and all that i understand that takes time especially with a two-person guide so i usually will run these morning ones to about 10 30. now i'll do some Facebooking while I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, old Debo. All right, I have met my guys. They were right on time. Beautiful. Take them to the spot now. They're just following me in. We'll get these yaks unloaded, set up, and we'll get to fishing. All right, clients have launched. Gotta tighten things up here, get the truck parked, and get the old canoe. And I'm off. Go find my clients. They should be right around this bend. Client is hooked up. All right. You got him? <laughs> Woohoo! Little baby trout. Nice, buddy. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a good one, buddy. Got one in the slick, baby. Oh! <laughs> Oh, got one. Got one right here at the boat. <laughs> right here at the boat. Little trout. Come here, buddy. I think that's the smallest trout I've ever caught. Clan's got his line in the propeller. This happens a lot. Either, either the propeller or the rudder. All right, got that situation done. And it's raining again. All right, rain stopped again. Got that propeller situation under control. We've, we've moved spots again. We're down to about our last hour. So I pushed up into the lagoon a bit. Got a nice big pool here. And the current is pushing this way. So I'm hoping that's pushing bait fish up into this grass back here. So I got my clients anchored off close to that grass Cut bait out the back, working paddles and twitch out the front. All right, client just hooked up on another one. We just crossed over. Sweet. Whew. All right, my client got that bluefish on a twitch bait. So we're bleeding him out. They're gonna keep him. That's a nice one too, back here in the bay. All right, my other client's on. Oh, he's trying to net him. All right, we are into some action now. <laughs> what you got? Let me see him. Is that a little runner? Nice. There is he at? There he is. There he is. Come here. Oh, yeah. Cut bait. All right. Anchored off with the cut bait. Oh. Come on. Uh, uh, where's he at? Uh, I'm not feeling much of a fight. Uh, uh, might be a cat. Oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, oh, yeah. That's not a cat. <laughs> Big trout, guys. I mean, a gator. Oh, yeah. On the cut bait. Oh. Uh. Big trout. Come on. Go. Oh. This guy is fired up. Come on in. Oh. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that's a gator. Nice. We gotta get a measure on this guy. Oh. He is nose a little over 20. Little over 20. Fat, juicy trout. Get a revive on this guy. There he goes. You can catch him. So we're at 11.30. Alarm went off at 4.30. It's 11.30 now. All the bulk is done. But at this point, I'll just offload all the footage from the cameras, get that ready to make a video, have some lunch, get back in the garage, and kind of reorganize everything. 
the four hour trip is really like a 10 hour trip. And that's not counting the hour last night that I prepared. And I might squeeze in like a little 30 minute nap in between stuff. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit me a like, hit me a subscribe. Really helps out the rhythm of the channel and my sanity. You can find me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. If you would like to do a guided kayak fishing tour or surf fishing tour, you can find all my rates at perditoblame.com. Till next time, fishing buddies.